Today we are going to be practicing and reviewing the ICANN statements of identifying geometric patterns and describing as repeating or growing and also determining the rule in which a pattern grows. So we've already worked on these two types of patterns, repeating and growing with numbers or numeric patterns and now we're going to do the same thing with geometric patterns. And the strategy we're going to work on today is converting the geometric patterns into number patterns. So first we need to look at the pattern and decide if it's repeating or growing. So triangle, parallelogram, parallelogram, triangle, parallelogram. Since we have some figures that are repeated, I'm going to call this a repeating pattern. So we have triangle, parallelogram, parallelogram. And then it starts with triangle again. So I think this is our initial pattern. And then we're just going to keep repeating it. So then we would draw the next figures. Not well. And that's where that one stops. And then we would start it over. So if it were asking for the next figure, it would be a parallelogram. If it asks for the ninth figure, then we would have to count nine figures. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's how we would identify the repeating pattern and determining the rule, which would be triangle, parallelogram, parallelogram. Okay, now on to our next pattern. So I see it's a triangle, so I'm just going to put a 1. And I see it's getting bigger, so I can already identify that this is a growing pattern. So how many green triangles do I have now? I have three. How many green triangles do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's see what my pattern might be. One to three is plus two. Three to six is plus three. So I think my next one is probably going to be plus Four. So 6 plus 4 is 10, which means I'm probably going to have 10 triangles. And I'm going to do my best to draw them. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So my next one should be a plus five, which would be fifteen, and then plus six. So this is a growing pattern. So each time it's growing by an additional one. So 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. And then there would be the corresponding geometric pattern. But again, if you can transform the geometric pattern into a number pattern, then you'll be able to decide the rule in which it grows and then figure out the next figures. So let's go down to the next one. Okay, this one is not repeating. It looks to be growing. So we start with 1. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's see. Plus four. Plus four. Oh, I think we're going to be at a plus four, which will be 13. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Exactly. And if I look here, if this is my center, the center, and it just grows one arm off each side, the center, and now there's two arms, or two on each arm, the center, and now there's three on each arm, then this one would also be plus four, 
and then I would assume there would be four on each arm. So this would be 17. Okay. Now down to this last one. Let's see if this is growing. Pink, orange, green, orange, pink, orange, green, orange. Nope, this is not growing. I can see there's already a pattern, so let's find it. Pink, orange, green, orange. Draw a line. Pink, orange, green, orange. Pink, orange, there should be green, and then orange. Pink, orange, green, orange. So I've created my pattern. It's pink, orange, green, orange. Pink, orange, green, orange. And this is a repeating pattern, and this is the rule. Pink, orange, green, orange. So these are the two different types of patterns, repeating and growing, and how we can determine um, which would come next or which would be as in a progression on this pattern based on finding the repeating pattern or converting the growing pattern to a number pattern to figure out what comes next.